all right here we are back in football manager 16 looking to see what it predicts fm21 will look like uh, last time i had the second legs um half of the second leg matches in the champions league campaign for the save and now we are going to have the last four second leg matches of the first knockout round uh, let's go ahead and get into the game All right, so we are on the Champions League screen, and as you can see, we have the results from the last video. Hopefully, that's not a spoiler. Um, it should be in order anyway. So, yeah. Uh, we had Inter going through on away goals over Atletico. Uh, Manchester City dominating Juventus in their tie. FC Barcelona doing the same, uh, dominating Zenit, and Celtic earning their way through against Benfica. Uh, today, we are going to have Liverpool versus Bayern, Manchester United versus Basel, Arsenal versus Lisbon and Real Madrid versus PSG. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to that date. We are a little bit away, so I will see you in a little bit. All right, we are in the first match here. We have Liverpool versus FC Bayern. Uh, it says Liverpool is the favorite for this match at Anfield. Uh, Bayern still up through two Lewandowski goals in the last leg. Uh, Liverpool in a 4-3-3, Mignolet in goal, Sacco and Florinus as the center backs, Nathaniel Klein right back, Marino the left back, Jordan Henderson as the holding midfielder with Milner and Tielemans in front of him, Coutinho is going to be out on the left with Felipe Anderson out on the right, and Prato is going to lead the line. Uh, for Bayern, we do have Neuer in goal. They are going to be playing in a 4-3-3. We have Boateng and Taz as center backs. Paslak as the right back. Georges as the left back. Romero is that holding mid with Vidal and Astunali in front of him. Lincoln and Mueller on the left and right respectively with Lewandowski leading the line. We're going to go ahead and get into the match. And Liverpool is going to get us started here. Um... Liverpool listed as the favorites for this match again in in Liverpool, but we're talking about Bayern here. Neither of these teams finding the success in FM16 that they've seen in real life. Perhaps more shockingly, Bayern not dominating and instead Schalke getting three of the last five Bundesliga titles as... A good play from Liverpool results in a shot from Milner, but Milner skies it over the goal. They'll be hoping if they get into a position like that again, they will capitalize. Of course, Liverpool does need to score a goal. If they do score, they will have the advantage of away goals if they can get a single solitary home goal. On the other hand, if Bayern gets a goal, it's going to be a lot harder for Liverpool to come back. They'd need at least two goals. Or I guess they would need two goals to tie the matchup and to take it to extra time. We're about 35 minutes in. Tillemans is injured, so Allen has to come in for Liverpool. Liverpool looking like the team that's performing better so far, but Bayern have had their chances. Not much to split the teams, though, let's be honest. Prato is booked. Looks like Liverpool might have a chance here. Moreno on the ball. Plays it inside to Henderson. Milner. Milner plays back to Allen. Allen finds Henderson again. Henderson's looking to play forward to Prato. Prato plays in Milner. And Milner shot goes wide. We're going to go ahead and be in the second half here. Bayern getting his kicked off. Let's see. We haven't really seen a highlight from Bayern so far in this match. But we know that Lewandowski doesn't need too many chances before he capitalizes, even in this save. I think he is one of the top scorers in the Champions League. We we're about an hour into the match. Not 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 super exciting, let's be honest. Fabinho comes on for George. I don't know how Liverpool will be or not Liverpool. Um Bayern will look at, after that change. It's kind of weird knowing Fabinho is on, Liv on Liverpool for in real life. All right, we have Bayern with the ball now. Will they be able to fashion a chance? We'll see. Astunali plays out to Lincoln. 
Lincoln on the ball, plays out right to Muller. Muller is tackled by Mourinho, and Liverpool Liverpool could be on the counter now. Felipe Anderson on the right, he plays forward to an overlapping or slash underlapping Nathaniel Klein. Nathaniel Klein with the cross to the far post. Oh my goodness, what a goal from Nathaniel Klein. I don't think he meant it, and even the football manager commentary says he did not mean that. The cross to the back post, it's a dangerous cross, so dangerous it doesn't even need anyone else to tap it in or head it in. It just goes in on its own. And Noor is beaten from very far out by Nathaniel Klein. And now Liverpool looks like they could be coasting to a win unless Bayern, of course, can get a goal with this chance here. Lewandowski with the chance. It was headed down to him. He's unable to beat Mignolet. Romero with the serve. Fabinho tries to get his head on it, but is unable to connect. Pass like now on the ball. He plays it back to Romero. Romero might get a second chance to serve in the ball. He doesn't. He plays back to Astunali. Pass like in the box. Pass like with the goal. And erase the away goal advantage for Liverpool. Now Liverpool has to get back into this game after Pass like scores for. Bayern, nobody steps to him, and he's able to just slot it past Mignolet. Mignolet arguably should be doing better there. So Bayern straight back into it. Liverpool has 15 minutes to try and score a goal to take this extra time. Balls with Vidal in the midfield. He plays back to Astunelli, who plays to Romero, who plays it back to Vidal. Pass like on the left now. Pass like cuts inside. He's able to find Lewandowski. Lewandowski might be able to slip it to Astunali, who's running through. Astunali gets the shot off and beats Mignole. That's two goals for Liverpool. Liver I mean, sorry, for Bayern in this tie. Two away goals. That would mean Liverpool needs... There's no more tying it. They'd have to score three goals to win it 5-4 on aggregate and I just don't see that happening in the last 15 minutes less than 15 minutes Sturridge is going to come on for Prato as Liverpool looks to change up the attack Coutinho is dribbling at Bayern oh and off the crossbar Coutinho doing what he can to try and give Liverpool a chance but really I don't think Liverpool will expect to go through now. Of course, they are still trying to push ahead. Felipe Anderson on the ball now. He probably should have tried to find Sturge there, but instead he finds the side netting. And despite going ahead and potentially getting the win, uh, Liverpool let in two Bayern goals. And it looks like their Champions League campaign will end here at Anfield. And that's full time. Liverpool 1, Bayern 2. Bayern going through 4 2 on aggregate. All right. We've got three games left. Next, we have Manchester United versus Basel. For Manchester United, we are in a 4 3 3. We've got De Gea. Um, as the keeper, Stones and Manolas as the center backs, Mario Fernandez as the right back, Shaw as the left back, Bleed, Herrera, and Cataldi as the three central midfielders, Mata on the left, Barbosa on the right, and Berardi <coughs> up top. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I do have a cough if I end up having a coughing spasm. I got checked. I do not have what I thought I might have had. Anyway, moving on. 4 4 2 4 Basel. They performed well in the last match against Manchester United. Not really able to capitalize on a good performance. It's still nil-nil, obviously. So we'll see if they can potentially snatch a win against uh, a strong United side at Old Trafford. Anyway, 4-4-2, like I always said. Uh, Vaslik is in goal with Spindelhofer and Suki as the center backs. Bangard is going to be the right back with Yanza being the left back. Uh, the two central midfielders will be El Nini and Zufi. Stefan is going to be the right midfielder with Lucas Piazon as the left midfielder. Uh, the two strikers will be Neves and Boros for Basel. United gets us kicked off here. You would expect Manchester United to take care of business despite not doing so in the first leg. 
Uh, Manchester United is on the attack early. Berardi takes a shot from outside the 18. Not, not, not good. Um, blocked easily. I think it was Spindelhofer with the block. Mata serves in from the corner. It's cleared by Bongard, I think it was. Now, Suki is far up the field to tackle Bleend. Not able to start a uh, counterattack from that position. And... Despite having highlights at the beginning of the game, not not much going on. Daily, Daily Bleen picking up an early yellow card. That's a little bit concerning, considering he might be a player that would have to foul if there's a breakaway, as he, he was on the ball defending there. Uh, Shaw able to cut out a pass by Basel, and Mata is trying to play forward to Berardi. Suki is able to cut it out easily. Not, in the end, not a good ball. Vasilek's going to go the other way. It's 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 not a good ball from him, and Berardi gets the chance. Berardi strikes well, and Vasilek does well to save it, but really Vasilek putting himself under pressure there with a poor ball out, easily picked off by Mata. Mata on the ball again. He plays inside to Shaw. Uh, Boros with a hard tackle on Shaw, but um, ends up being a clean one. We're about five minutes into this game, and we're seeing a lot of highlights. The beginning of the last game, I don't even think we saw but all but two highlights in the first half. Mark Fernandez on the ball now. He cuts past. Can he get a serve in? He does. He gets to the byline, gets a serve in. Mata's there. Mata at the far post, unable to head it on target. Not exactly my idea of a target man in the box. Mata's cordon cleared easily, but not cleared well. Ooh, Herrera with a good ball to... That was horrible! I know it's a game, but... That's horrible. I could have finished that. Uh, Barbosa should have done better there. Cataldi with the chance. It would have gone past the keeper, but... I think it was blocked. I can't tell who it was. Manchester United ended up not not being too convincing in front of the goal. They're obviously convincing in the build-up. They're having most of the possession, but Basel is hard to beat here. Mata plays out to Berardi. Berardi crosses in. Spindelhofer is able to clear. Stefan should be able to get on that. Can Basel counter here? He plays forward. Manolas cuts it off before it can find Nevis. Cataldi plays forward to Barbosa. Barbosa plays out to Fernandez, overlapping. Fernandez sends the ball in. It's cleared. Oh, it's only cleared as far as Cataldi. Cataldi able to get a strike on goal. Vasilik able to save. Another corner for United. Stones. I thought he, Stones was going to be able to get a header there, but El Nini clears. Herrera on the ball now. Plays inside to Stones, who's further up following that corner. Fernandez now, can he slip? He slips it to Barbosa. Barbosa might be able to get across in here. Nope. Yanza able to dispossess. And that'll be the end of that highlight. Man, I, I'm still on key highlights, but it's showing us everything. Yanza on the ball now. Manchester United trying with the high press. It succeeds. Bleeding on the ball. Plays forward to Cataldi. Cataldi plays in Mata. Mata tries to cross or shoot i can't tell but unable to get it past bangard bangard able to clear in the end mata on the ball again he plays out to fernandez fernandez again slipping it in for barbosa barbosa crosses into barardi barardi takes a touch to get it down unable to find the net got barbosa's on it again to fernandez fernandez crosses bangard clears only as far as fernandez again el nini able to clear but it falls to Bleend. Bleend only able to get the ball to Piazon. He will not be happy with that. Piazon switches the play to Stefan, and I don't know why these are considered highlights, to be honest with you. Mata serves in. Piazon clears. United definitely looking the stronger of the two teams, as I said. He plays forward to Berardi. Berardi might get a chance. It's it's blocked. Stone slips it back to Berardi. Berardi in the box. He gets to the byline and earns a corner. Manchester United having a ton of corners early in this match. Not super convincing from Basel. Shaw's on the ball now in the box. 
It's blocked. Mata is able to get it. He plays it back inside to Shaw. Shaw strikes, but again, loose ball. It's just United's not able to really get a clear chance. Credit to Basel or maybe just poor play from the Red Devils. Zufi serves long to Neves. Neves unable to connect. This strategy for Basel was doing was better in Switzerland, in my opinion. Not really able to even create a chance in this match so far. We're a half hour in, and United are on the attack here. Cataldi playing into Berardi. Berardi strikes from range. It was a good hit, but the ball goes wide. <coughs> Mario Fernandez with the throw into Bleen. He gets it back from Bleen. He finds Cataldi. Cataldi plays it back out. Mario Fernandez running forward. Berardi with the chance. Potentially, no, not fast enough. Oh, what a goal from Fernandez. It, honestly, well, I don't know why I said what a goal. It, it's kind of poor from Vaslik. Fernandez, a huge part of the build up play, he's able to get the ball that had just clattered from a previous Berardi shot. Vaslik. That is horrible. How? Why would Fernandez be able to slip it in at that angle? That's just. It's not good. Fernandez with the goal, and United will be happy with the lead here. Basel with it all to do. Berardi could have a chance here, and he does. Could have been destined for the top left, but Vaslik makes sure it goes behind. But United do have a corner. It's cleared. United on the ball. Fernandez serves long. El Nini clears. And that's the end of the highlight. One of us up to Gabriel. Mario Fernandez now. Far Mario Fernandez with a cross to the far post. Bongard clears. It falls to Mata. Mata able to play inside. El Nini clears there. Now, Basel might be able to counter here that was rather horrible plays the ball straight to Barbosa and now United are straight back at, on the attack good play from United Cataldi finds under Herrera and Herrera does well with the acrobatic finish to make it 2-0 for Manchester United and the way the game's been going you don't really see Basel getting back into this Good, like I said, good acrobatic stuff from Ander Herrera. Cataldi, good vision to put it in his path. Basel, man. I had faith, but it's just not, not worth it. Not worth having faith in you. Berardi has played in here. Could make it three. It's blocked. Gabriel takes a shot from distance. It is also blocked. A lot of weird times... The AI chooses a lot of weird times to try a shot. It's almost like they wait for the defender to get in front of them before they shoot. Gabriel on the ball plays into Berardi. Berardi strikes from range. And he will miss from range. We got about one minute left in the first half. And it is gone. And it is the second half. Zufi on the ball now. Basel gets us kicked off. Basel does need two goals. If they can get two goals, then of course they would win on away goals, but do we really see that happening? I don't, I don't think we see that happening. I don't think we'll see that happen. Mata on the ball now. United looking for a third. Is that a foul? I don't think it matters. Yanza tackles Cataldi, but after the tackle, the ball goes straight to Berardi. Berardi makes no mistake, and it's 3-1. Yeah, Gianza just pokes the ball away from Cataldi, but he pokes it straight to Berardi? Yikes. United with 29 shots, Basel with none. Ouch. I, after the first leg, I was, I was expecting a bit more? We're an hour into this match, and I mean, it's done. Let's, let's be honest. Basel's not coming back. If anything, United's adding goals. Not Basel's not even getting a sniff. P 
Piazza on, on the ball now. He plays forward to Delort. De <sighs> Curse the commentator. I was going to say maybe not. Mario Fernandez able to dispossess Delort before he can get a cross in. And now Manchester United will get a chance to build and potentially create another chance to score. Berardi on the ball now. Where's his support? He plays over to Herrera. Herrera slips it back through to Berardi. It's a good goal, but in the end, offsides. So it won't count. Still, like I said, good play from those two, but just missed times his run. And that is a disallowed goal. Manchester United switching it up a little bit now that they need to. Uh, Basel, on the other hand, I think we saw Basel make, switch it up too. They might just... Don't know if they're actually trying to get back into this game or just giving some players some experience. You tell me. <coughs> Alright, Basel with the corner. Fernandez able to clear there. Snyderland's on the ball now. Plays it back to Shaw. Shaw plays inside the Shoshev. Kochev? I don't know how to say that. Ka Good ball to Castileo. Castileo. Uh, did, did, I, I, I'd say he needs to finish there. Mata into Shoshev. Schneiderlin on the ball now. Schneiderlin plays forward to Berardi. Berardi plays out, or tries to play it out wide to Castileo, but Zufi. Was that Zufi? I actually don't know. Basel cuts it out. Delort's on the ball now. It's just so slow from Basel. What, what are you expecting to get done? Stefan on the ball now. Stefan plays back to El Nini. El Nini to Zakaria. Zakaria plays forward to Neves. Neves hits it first time. Ball to Delort. Lucas Piazon on the left now. Lucas Piazon might try and beat the defender. He He's able to get a cross in. The cross is cleared, but straight back to him. Zakaria from distance. De Gea. I think that's the first shot from Basel. Not a bad attempt, but De Gea saves. I won't say he saves easily because it looked like it might have just snuck underneath, but he's able to get down and get the ball away from his net. Stefan on the ball now. Will he take a strike from distance? It clatters around in the box. Don't even know who it went off of. This this is what Basel would have needed earlier in the game. It's now 10 minutes left. You're not going to score three goals against Manchester United at Old Trafford without getting countered. And that's four goals for Manchester United. It's Fernandez's second on the night. He's able to head past the Basel keeper off of a set piece. Mono with a good service. And the glancing header just finds... The side net, not the inside of the net. I almost said the side netting, but then I realized that would that's probably considered the outside of the goal. Anyway, Schneiderlin tries to make it five, and really they're just there's just no no hope for Basel. There's just no chance, especially considering the only passes they really complete are the ones that go backwards. I say that, and two passes forward, and we're already with the forwards. Stefan plays up to Neves. Neves might be able to get a cross in here. If he can beat this defender, he pulls it back to Stefan. Stefan strikes from just inside the box, and it goes out for a goal kick. <coughs> mm. Shaw on the ball now. Shaw on the ball. Mata plays it back out to Shaw. Shaw going for the inline, gets a cross in. Berardi's there, unable to connect. He won't be too disappointed. Because United are going through to the next round of the Champions League. Neves on the ball now. Out to Stefan. Stefan plays down for Neves. Can Delort make a run here? Neves, he plays it back to Stefan. 
You just gotta try and find your strike partner there. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the game, Anderson. Carry on. United. 4-0 over Basel. So, we have Bayern going through over Liverpool and United taking care of business against Basel so far in this video. Next, we've got two big matches. I do have to simulate to the next day, but two huge max matches. We got Real Madrid versus PSG. PSG do have the lead on aggregate there. Coman having scored a good solo goal in the first leg. And the other match is Arsenal in Lisbon. That is 0-0 now. Arsenal get to play at home. So we are going to start with Arsenal versus Lisbon. And we have Arsenal in a 4-3-1-2. Uh, Timo Horn as the keeper. Koscielny and Jimenez as the center backs. Ginter on the right. Bernat as the left back. Alexis Sanchez, Andre Gomez, and Ramsey as the three center midfielders behind the 10. Mesut Ozil, Lukaku, and Chalhanoglu as the two strikers. Uh, Lisbon coming out in a 4-2-2-2. Really, it looks like a 4-4-2. Four, four Just those two center midfielders are going to be playing a bit deeper. Uh, Rui Patricio as the keeper. Duclos and Oliveira as the center backs. Arsa as the right back. Mas as the left back. We've got João Mario and Chavez as the two center midfielders. Uh, we've got, I'm going to say, Ricardo as the right midfielder and Martinez on the left. We've got Fagundes and Slimani up top. We're going to go ahead and get into the match. Arsenal is going to get us kicked off. And we are going to see which of these teams can get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League of the 2021 season. Arsenal on the ball now. First highlight, first real highlight. Uh, Ramsey able to find Ozil. Ozil plays it for to Chalhanoglu. Chalhanoglu plays it for Lukaku. Lukaku able to get on the ball, but he does not find the net. He just sends it wide. You'll be hoping for more from Lukaku. <coughs> Koscielny gets a yellow card early. We're about half an hour in. Not much to separate the two teams. Ginter is going to get a yellow card. That's two, two of four defenders for Arsenal with on a yellow now. Masu Ozil to Gomez. Gomez plays it back to Ramsey. Ramsey plays it across to Sanchez. Sanchez plays through to Lukaku, and he's I think he's on sides. He is. He's on sides. Alexis Sanchez able to slip through a good weighted ball past the Lisbon defense to find the on-running Lukaku. He just comes back onside. Alexis Sanchez plays that ball in and Lukaku is able to finish past Patricio. The Gunners will be happy with that goal. Going into the second half with the lead. That's that's another yellow card for that Arsenal back line. So that this could be an interesting second half as I'm sure Lisbon will be pushing forward trying to create something. And obviously they have been pushing forward with <laughs> three Arsenal players in that back line getting yellow cards. Uh it looks like Gelson Martins comes on for Ricardo. Balls with the Gunners now. Ginter on the right. He's dispossessed by Martinez. Moss plays the ball forward to Fagundes. Fagundes heads the ball on, but not, not a good ball. Jimenez on the ball now for Arsenal. He plays forward. Moss is able to cut that out. Martinez then plays it back to Fagundes. Fagundes plays it inside to Slimani. Slimani strikes. It clatters off Arsenal defender. And Arsenal might get the chance to build here. Ozil finds Ramsey. Ramsey plays out to Ginter. Ginter plays inside the Chalhanoglu. Chalhanoglu finds Ozil. 
a weird bit of play there, but Lukaku ends up with the ball. He strikes, unable to find the net. He's back on it. L Lukaku's first strike clatters off the defender. Lisbon not really able to react, and Lukaku gets a second chance and does well with the second chance. Patricio slides the wrong way. And that is 2-0 for Arsenal. It looks like Hector Bellerin is coming on for Koscielny. Oxlade-Chamberlain on for Ozil. It looks like Arsenal is going to be able to claim the win and move on to the quarterfinals of the Champions League this season. Two minutes of added time and now about 10 seconds left of that. And yeah, it doesn't matter. Even if Lisbon score here, it's, it's, yeah, it's full time. Arsenal through. And we have one more match before the next game, or before the next round, excuse me. We have Real Madrid versus PSG. Real Madrid is the favorite. However, they are behind. Will, will, ew, excuse me. Will Real Madrid be able to get a goal and win against the PSG side who has won the Champions League twice since FM16 started simulating. Led by Guardiola, you really would think that both of these teams have a good chance to go through. I don't actually remember who's the manager for Real Madrid. Can I click on him? No. We're going to go ahead and watch the match. I say as the match is obviously playing Memphis. Played in by Zivkovic. Memphis, what a goal. Early goal. We are a minute in. Less than two minutes in, I should say. We are we are more than a minute in. But Memphis to play. What a ball. Who, who played that ball? Was it Zivkovic? Zivkovic plays in Memphis to play. And Memphis just a little dinked shot over the keeper. <laughs> uh... Again, Keeper probably should be doing better there, but he might not have expected Real Madrid to attack so fast. But all of a sudden, it's 1-1. So everything to play for. Of course, PSG will always have the away goal advantage now with both teams currently only having one at home. One goal at home. So, PSG is the only team here that can get away goals. Gulam on the ball now. Plays forward. Verratti's running onto it. Verane beats Verratti to it. Zivkovic is on the ball again. And that ends the highlight. Rodriguez throws in. I didn't do the lineups. I just realized I didn't do the lineups. That was a mistake. Can I pause this and go back to the lineups? I can go to the formations. Okay, yeah. So, quick break. 4-2-3-1 for Real Madrid. Uh, Reykjavik, Umtiti, Verane, Danilo, Rodriguez, Hoiberg, Cruz, Rodriguez, or James, uh, Zivkovic on the right, Ronaldo on the left, and Memphis Depay, the goal scorer in this match so far, up top. For PSG, a 4-1-4-1, Navas in goal, Dragovic and Marquinhos as the center backs, Darmian on the right, Gulam on the left, Matuidi as the holding mid, Bernardo Silva and Verratti in front of him, Oscar on the right, Coleman on the left, and Murata leads the line. And back to the field, and play. <laughs> oh, not, 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 not a good job from AC, but a good job from Zivkovic as it gives Real Madrid the lead. And only 12 minutes into this match, and Real Madrid find themselves with a goal, two goals in the match, and a one goal lead on aggregate. Of course, like I said before, PSG, they would have the away goal advantage if they can get one. So really, it's, oh, is that going to be a red card for Umtiti? Despite such a good start by Real Madrid, a rash challenge from Umtiti results. It's not in a red. It's not a red card. It is a yellow card. That's good news for him. But Verratti could punish. He does not punish Real Madrid 
from such a dangerous free kick. Unable to find the target there. Danilo on the ball for Real Madrid. Dispossessed by Coman. PSG looking to potentially to play out here. Murata dribbling at Madrid, but not having any support, really. He plays out to Coman. Coman to Bernardo. Bernardo plays across to Oscar. Oscar slips to Murata. It's cut off, and Real Madrid have the ball again. It seems like the home side in these these games have such a big advantage. <laughs> So I don't, it'll be hard for PSG to come back now. He just looks scared to go forward. I say that as the great ball is played to Murata. Murata able to get past Umtiti to get a shot off, but unable to find the target there. Hoiberg plays out to Danilo. Danilo, I thought he was going to hit a cross in, but he doesn't. He cuts inside. He's still got it. Gulam tackles. Whew, Gulam tackles the ball, gets the ball off of Danilo, but the ball goes straight to Lamas Rodriguez, who hits it first time. Cruz serves him. Uh, Matuidi is able to clear Bernardo on the ball now. And the Hoiberg pulls down Bernardo Silva and gets the yellow card. Real Madrid hoping to add to this lead. Especially considering PSG really only needs one goal to take the match. Zivkovic cuts inside. He plays it to James. Hamez plays forward. He was looking for Ronaldo, unable to find him. Rodriguez on the ball now. Plays inside the Cruz. Cruz up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo over to James. Or Hamez, not James. Hamez plays over to Danilo. Gulam able to dispossess Danilo. Gulam then plays it down the line to Murata. Murata dribbling again at Real Madrid's defense. Umtiti steps out. Murata ends up playing out to Comon. Comon gets to the inline, crosses in. It's a far post. <sighs> Cross Murata there, meets the ball, but heads it against the crossbar slash the post. I couldn't tell which one. What a chance for PSG to get a goal and potentially give them a chance to just hold on to an away goal advantage. It's just good work by Comon to get there, but... Murata has to finish that. Mistake by Verone. Murata's in. Murata strikes. Good save by Reykjavik. Oscar might be able to get it off of Rodriguez. He's unable to, and that will be the end of the highlight. Murata doing good to uh, get the ball off of Verone there. Cruz now to Rodriguez. Rodriguez plays into Hoiberg. It's confusing having Rodriguez and James on the same team. Uh, Danilo's on the ball now. He crosses inside to Zivkovic. Zivkovic cuts inside. He hits it with his left, but it's straight at Navas. And that's an easy save for the PSG goalkeeper. Pretty even game, despite Real Madrid scoring the two goals and PSG not having any. PSG's had their chances, could easily be 2 0 PSG the other way. Murata on the ball again. Umtiti able to dispossess. He gives it to Cruz. Cruz plays back to Varane. Varane wide to Danilo. Danilo dispossessed by Comon. Comon unable to hang on to that ball though. James drops deep. Plays it back to Cruz. Memphis drives through. Plays in James. Zivkovic ends up being able to score the goal. Not exactly a beautiful play there. I uh, could have been uh, Hamez running forward Memphis able to try and slip him in it's Gulam comes in with the slide tackle which leaves Zivkovic open on the right and the slide tackle just ends up sending the ball back to where he came from and Zivkovic is just able to slot it in and Real Madrid will be very happy with how this first half, how the first half went. Uh, we'll be hoping to add to the tally in the second half. I was expecting a bit more from PSG. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of interesting. Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously the biggest name for Real Madrid, but I don't even know if I've seen him touch the ball in any of these highlights. It's been all James, Zivkovic, and Memphis. It's really not. 
not seeming to play through the left side of the field. <coughs> Don't really know why that is. Just something that I noticed. Uh, Hoiberg plays for Danilo. Danilo is getting on the ball a lot more than I don't even than the other than the left back. I say as the left back gets onto the ball, and Rodriguez proved me wrong. Get get Real, get Ronaldo involved. He's unable to. You know Ronaldo wants to score. He loves himself a Champions League goal. Cavani has come on for PSG, trying to change the game here. A little bit different than Murata. Murata, I don't want to say Murata did poorly because he got into good areas. He just couldn't finish. It's just not his day. Tw 20 minutes left. 15 minutes left. You just, I, I think that's it for PSG. I think in real life we would see a very quiet yet frustrated Guardiola but the reality is is that this PSG team could score two very quick goals so maybe I'm wrong maybe he would just be screaming at them to play forward get the ball up the field not necessarily saying kick it long but just be aggressive Whew, Hamas almost almost being able to add another for Real Madrid Ramos is going to replace Danilo on the right. And it's another chance for Real Madrid from the free kick. Hamas able to connect with the free kick, but unable to head it past Navas. And PSG really, I, I'd say, needs to score here if they're going to have a chance to score another. But so far, it just seems like the ball is going the wrong way for the Parisian side. Though I do say that Cavani... I thought Cavani was going to be able to beat Bali to that ball, but Bali beats him out. And again, just neither of these teams really having a good amount of possession. And that's a foul from Hoiberg. Hoiberg already on a yellow. He is going to get sent off. So Real Madrid, despite having the three-goal lead in this match, will end with 10 men. I'm, I'm still confident that Real Madrid will be fine. Despite getting sent down to Timon and it weird, I thought they were that was going to be a foul on Darmian since everything seemed to stop. But really, that's just because of the game. Cruz with a good ball to Memphis. Memphis unable to finish there. Like I said, I don't don't see PSG coming back, even though Real Madrid is down to ten men. It's just too tall of an order. Guedes is in here. Can he get no? He could have pulled it back for Cavani. But instead, he finds the side netting. Not exactly what you would want in that situation. Not what I would want. We thought Guedes might be... I thought Guedes might have scored there, but he was just offsides. And it made the game made sure to tell us early, so we didn't get too excited. Zivkovic able to slip Memphis in. Memphis... Oh, that looked really weird because of the animations. Good sh two chances from Memphis, neither able able to get past Navas. I think Navas did well there, but I couldn't tell because, like I said, the animations were so strange. 15 seconds left in this match. think that is going to be all she wrote, folks. And it is all she wrote, folks. <laughs> Alright, so... We have our winners, and we are going to go ahead and see what the next round draw is. We did have Arsenal going through, Real Madrid going through, Bayern going through after a 2-1 win over Liverpool, 4-2 in aggregate, and Manchester United dominating Basel at Old Trafford to go through. Let's see, the other teams that we're going to have are Inter Milan, Manchester City, Barcelona, and Celtic. Let's see, um, I want to go ahead and see the matchups. <coughs> Alright, for the last part of the video, before we move on to the next one, I did want to show 
the draw of the quarterfinal. We have obviously a lot of huge matches here. We have Barcelona versus Manchester United, Bayern versus Manchester City, Arsenal versus Inter, and Real Madrid against Celtic. I think since I am in a bit of a race against the FM21 beta coming out, next time I sit down, I'm going to get through with the whole Champions League. So the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the final. I think I said that at the beginning of the video. I'm saying it again. Next video should be the last for this series, F FM16 predicting FM21. It's been fun. I've enjoyed making this video, and I look forward to making more for FM21. Um, if you watched this far, thank you, and I will see you for the quarters, the semis, and the final. Bye. Thank <music> you.